Part two of lesson 51 is the mathematical application of resonating air columns. And please read over your notes. Your notes go through uh, first harmonics and second harmonics and, uh, and all that. And that's, uh, that's all fine and dandy. We don't really need to go into that much detail. Um, but we do know how to need to know how to solve things mathematically for fixed um, strings and for open and closed columns. So in this example, we have an open-ended organ column is 3.6 meters long. Determine the wavelength of the fundamental. So the fundamental is the smallest wavelength that will create a sound. So maybe let's, here's our pipe. It's 3.6 meters long. And the first thing we need to acknowledge is that it's, open-ended. So if it's an open-ended column, we know from the previous lesson that the smallest wavelength that will fit in an open-ended column is half a wavelength. Like that. One half of a wavelength. So if one half of a wavelength fits in a pipe that's 3.6 meters long, and the question, the, 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 um, The question is asking for uh, the fun, the determine the wavelength of the fundamental column. That's a pretty straightforward question. If half a wavelength fits in a pipe of 3.6, if I wanted a full wavelength, sure like that, how much would it be? Seven point two. So the pipe would have to be the the wavelength would have to be 7.2 uh, meters. All right, everybody makes sense of that? You could, you could say, well, half of a wavelength equals 3.6, then a full wavelength, because it says determine the wavelength, not determine the half wavelength, or the one and a half wavelength, uh, equals x. Just cross multiply and divide, and you get 3.6 divided by half, which is 7.2. So that one's pretty straightforward. B says determine the frequency of this note if the speed of sound is 346 meters per second. And on average, we consider the speed of sound to be around 330, 340 meters per second. It changes according to air temperature. Uh, so the warmer it is, the faster sound travels. Um, just by, not by huge amounts, but... Um, if you spend your life in the in the Arctic, then uh, yeah, you will have to get used to sound traveling at 326 meters per second. Okay, B. So B says, what is the frequency of the note if the speed of sound is 346 meters per second? So we have the velocity of the sound. We now, from part A, have the wavelength of the sound. The question is asking for the frequency, and so we can just use the universal uh, wave equation, which is and that gives us forty eight. Hertz cycles per second. Okay, so that one again is pretty straightforward. It gets a little more involved when we get to C. So C says, determine, uh, oh, just back to B, it says, calculate it using the forms you just learned, although if you wanted, you could use, so I just used V equals um, F lambda. Um, I don't like using those other formulas just because you're not going to use them again in physics 30 and they, it's just more to memorize when I think this, this teaches you the basics more. So if you want to use those other formulas that I mentioned previously in the lesson, then go for it. Uh, I'm going to not. C says, determine the note that could be played at the third harmonic on this column. Okay, so the third harmonic, you need to know what that is. So let's go back 
Let's go back. And here we go. We've got an open-ended column. The first harmonic is where you have half a wavelength. Right? The second harmonic is where you have a full wavelength. And so the third harmonic is when you have one and a half wavelengths. So the third harmonic, the third harmonic is going to be one and a half wavelengths. Okay, so you have this pipe that's 3.6 meters long, and in this first example, we just put half a wavelength in it right here. Now, we are going to compress that wave and put three, one and three halves or one and a half wavelengths in that open-ended column of 3.6 meters. And there we go. That's one and a half wavelengths. And then you can draw it from the back if you want. That is one and a half wavelengths. It's in a space of 3.6 meters so as you can see this one's going to have a much higher frequency why is it going to have a higher frequency because it has a much shorter wavelength the wavelength is no longer 7.2 because now all of a sudden we have one and a half wavelengths within a 3.6 meter pipe so what is that new wavelength is the question what is That, that is one way, the red there is one wavelength in that pipe, and how much does it represent of the 3.6 meters? Well, it's not, it's more than half, obviously, because then you've got this little tail on there. It's more than half, and we can just do that with um, a simple uh, proportion or ratio. We can simply say that if... So this is the way I would do that question. I would say if three and a half wavelengths, so not three and a half, if three, one, one and a half wavelengths fits in a column of 3.6 meters, then how much is one wavelength? And so then you cross multiply and divide and you end up getting 2.4. Which seems very reasonable. So it's, it's more than half the pipe, but not the full pipe. So now, so one wavelength is now 2.4 meters, and then you can go back up to, up to question B and do the same thing, but we're just going to change the 7.2 to 2.4. Frequency equals the speed of sound divided by the wavelength, and you end up getting 144. 144 hertz, as, or cycles per second. So that's going to be a higher pitch. The higher the frequency is, the higher the pitch is. And the last example, or the last question says, if we made the column longer, explain what would happen to the fundamental note would it be a higher or a lower frequency? Well, you can probably you can probably answer this question just through common sense. If I have a flute and I have a tuba, you know, that big brass instrument, not a, not a tuba, a tuba, which one makes a lower sound? Here's the flute, and here's the tuba. Oh, I can't draw a tuba. Anyway, the point of a tuba. Uh, is it has it has a whack load of tubing. Uh, in other words, here's your flute that is maybe, let's say, 50 centimeters of tubing. This one may have, um, that's 50 centimeters. This, ha this could have 50 meters of tubing. In fact, French horns, I believe, are, are I don't know, they're, they're a huge amount. So which one makes a lower sound? Obviously, the tuba. So if you increase the length of the pipe, you're going to get a lower sound. So, so you can just you can answer that just using common sense. You're obviously going to get a lower frequency. So the longer column means you're going to have a bigger wavelength in there. So instead of 
3.6. Now you make it big. And you put your half, what your fundamental in that bigger column is, let's say, uh, six meters long, then the, the wavelength is going to be much longer. So you can have a bigger wavelength, therefore a much lower frequency. The answer to D is... The fundamental notes would have a lower frequency because it's going to have a much bigger wavelength. Okay, that ends lesson 51. If you've got a tuba or a flute at home, get it out and play a tune and maybe you'll appreciate a little more. <laughs>